Hello, my name is Sandy, and in this video I'm going to show off how to import models with multiple UDIMs into any source game from Alex to Sandbox. So you can see this wardrobe here. It has two different texture sets. So there's this one with a lot of uh, wood, and there's this other one with uh, some wood but some other stuff as well. Alright. So I'm using two texture sets for this model, and it's working in Hammer. Wow. The mirrors aren't working right now, just uh, ignore that, alright? So, in Maya, uh, if I open the UV editor, you can see that there are two different uh, squares occupied here in the UV uh, space. So there's this one, uh, the first UV, and there's this one, the second UV. So there are two different textures that going to be applied to this model. So instead of, right, uh, a four key texture would be this. These four squares would make a four key texture, but since I'm using 2k and just adding, uh, using two u teams with 2k, it just so happens that in source 2 your textures must be a multiple of 2. Uh, so you know, 512, 1024, 2048, 4089, I, 4000, and, uh, you know what, you know what I mean, alright? <laughs> uh, I found a middle ground, you know, it's not 2k, it's not 4k, but it's uh, somewhere in the middle. So, how do you do this? So I exported my uh, textures from uh, Substance Painter, export, uh, export textures. Uh, export, uh, and then you just wait for a bit. You don't have to, you know, maybe you have a model you downloaded from the internet or something, and it's not your own model, then you don't need to use Substance Painter. This is just, uh, this is my model, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm exporting the textures. If you download a model from the internet, you'll probably, you'll probably have the textures in a folder already. So, Now we have the textures here, and, um, and this is probably how it will look if you download a model from the internet as well. So you can see this is the first color texture with all the wood, and uh, this is the second color texture. Here are the mirrors, here is the, you know, the doorknob and some other wood stuff. So you import it to Photoshop or you know Paint on Net or GIMP or any of your image editing programs, identify which one is the first and which is the second. Okay. Image, okay, I'm a size. Let's double the width. So 2048 times 2 is 4096. And then we copy the second texture and add it next to the first texture. Like this. Let's say this as, you know, bogadwardro underscore color dot png. And you do this for all of these textures, you know. You, you take the normal maps, put them together next to each other in one texture. You'll have something like this. We have the color. We have the roughness, the metal, and the normal map. Here are four, four different textures uh, for this model. So, we now just create a material in the material editor. You know, change it to a VR complex if you want, you know. So you can so you can add a metal texture and, you know, whatever. This is not a tutorial of the material editor. I think Guardas, Guardas, Guardas. I think Guardas. I think Guardas has made a video on how to use the material editor. So I link it in the in the card and in the description. All right. So, you add your you know, new cool textures uh, like this, and then you, you know you create a model in the model doc, and you notice that it looks awful. It doesn't look right. Well, there's one thing you need to do in a material editor. If you see this secondary UV button, don't touch it. It's 
something stupid. Valve is weird. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So, you see, you see this in the texture coordinates down at the bottom, in the variables. There's a texture coordinate scale. You see that we have we have two textures next to each other, in the x-axis. So this is the x-axis, you know, horizontal, and the y-axis is vertical. So because we have two textures in the x-axis, we need to divide the x-coordinate of the coordinate scale by two. One divided by two is 0 0.5. Most models will only have two UDIMs, if at all. You know, they might have one or two UDIMs. Uh, especially characters might have two UDIMs. So you just divide the x axis by two, if you have two UDIMs, and you get 0 0.5. Save it. Uh, and now in the model doc, you see everything looks uh, correct. If you go into Hammer. Looks like it looks correct. Mm. Look at that. Very good. So I hope you learned something. And uh, by the way, I have 500 subscribers on the channel. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, I'm 50% there to a thousand subscribers. Wow. Um, when I have a thousand subscribers, I get to monetize my videos, uh, so you know. If you want more tutorials, please subscribe. And there might be a lot more in the future. Thank you. Thank you for watching.